This meeting to the public, if I may, welcome to the fifth meeting of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee and invite members to turn off um, their mobile phones, please. Um, agenda one um, is decisions on taking business in private and it's proposed that the committee discuss agenda item five in private. This will be an opportunity for the committee to discuss its future work programme. Does the committee agree to consider agenda item five in private? Thank you very much. Agenda item two is a consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the following affirmative instruments. The draft Freedom of Information Scotland Act 2002, Time for Compliance, Regulations 2016. The draft Legal Aid Scotland Act 1986, Amendment Regulations 2016, or the draft Smoking Prohibition Children in Motor Vehicles Scotland Act 2016, Fixed Penalty Notices Regulations 2016, or the draft Council Tax Variation for Unoccupied Dwelling Scotland Amendment Regulations 2016, or the draft Public Appointments and Public Bodies etc. Scotland Act 2003 treatment of Scottish Fiscal Commission as specified authority, Order 2016, or the draft representations of the people postal voting for local government elections, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2016. Is the committee content with these instruments? Thank you. Agenda item three is the consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure. The Children's Services Planning Specified Date Scotland Order 2016, SSI 2016-255, and the consideration, um, oh, consideration also of the Civil Legal Aid Scotland Miscellaneous Amendments Regulations 2016, SSI 2016-257, and the representation of the people variation of limit of candidates local government election expenses Scotland order 2016 SSI 2016 slash 263 and this general dental council fitness to practice amendment rules order of council 2016 SI 2016 slash 902 is the committee content with these instruments subject to negative procedure Thanks very much. Agenda item four is, is the consideration of instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure, uh, which are the Act of Sederant uh, Lay Representation for Non-Natural Persons, 2016, SSI 2016, slash 243. Section 97 of the Courts Reform Scotland Act 2014 sets out the matters on which a court must be satisfied before it may grant permission for a lay representative to conduct proceedings on behalf of a non-natural person. Section 97.3 provides that the court must be satisfied, amongst other things, <coughs> that the lay representative is a suitable person to conduct proceedings. Section 97.4 provides that for these purposes, a lay representative is a suitable person to conduct proceedings if, again, amongst other things, the lay representative does not have a personal interest as defined in Section 97.5 of the Act in the subject matter of the proceedings. The form, on the other hand, indicates a declaration includes a declaration to be made by the prospective lay representative that, amongst other things, the prospective lay representative does not have a personal interest within the meaning of Section 97.5 of the Act in the outcome of the case. The Lord President's private office considers that there is no difference in terms of effect between the two formulations of having a personal interest in the subject matter of the proceedings and having a personal interest in the outcome of the case. They consider the two formulations to be synonymous ways of describing the same parliamentary intent 
i.e. that a representative should not have a personal interest in the case. Our legal advisers suggest that we could consider that the wording in the Act and the wording in the form would not necessarily be taken by a user of the legislation to be synonymous with one another. We might therefore consider that the difference in wording between the form and the Act has the scope to cause confusion for the user of the legislation, who might question why different words have been used and whether any difference in meaning is intended. The scope for confusion would be removed if the wording of the form echoed that of the Act. The committee could consider that the difference in wording between the form and the Act has led to a lack of clarity, in that the meaning of the declaration in the form could be clearer when read in light of the wording in the Act. So, does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of Parliament under reporting ground H, as the meaning of the form set out in the schedule of the instrument could be clearer? Thank you. We are agreed. No points, you will be pleased to know, have been raised by our legal advisers on the following instruments. The Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014, Commencement Number 12 and Saving Provisions Order 2016, SSI 2016-254. The Apologies Scotland Act 2016, Commencement and Transitory Provision Regulation 2016, SSI 2016-256, um, Chapter 23. Is that what C23 means? Commencement. Commencement 23, forgive me, thank you. Um, the Smoking Prohibition Children in Motor Vehicles, Scotland Act 2016, Commencement Regulations to 2016, SSI 2016-259, C24. The Community Justice Scotland Act 2016, Commencement Number 1 and Transitional Provision, Regulation 2016, SSI 2016-262, Commencement 25. Is the Committee content with these instruments? Yes. Many thanks. Um, I think we should also put on the record that... Um, uh, Congratulations to the government in bringing forward so many instruments today with only one that we're finding fault with. So that's to be applauded and indeed welcomed. So that concludes the committee's business for today and we'll now move into private session. Okay, thanks so much.